Hello there, welcome to another episode of Cities Skylines. This is episode three of DeVille. A few little changes since we last met. A uh, little park development here, stadium, little science center there as well. And over here we have the high school and elementary. And over here a little DLC, church with a graveyard and a recycle center. And a little bit of a shopping center here, nicely done up with some high rises, a little fancy shopping area. And I uh, added some more parks here and there because, you know, parks add value to the land. A little downtown metro thing. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll show it later on. But anyways, here's a little into the city hall slash tax office. It's called the tax office. I like to kind of call it the city hall there, but uh, a little park area. I took a kind of an inspiration from the university grounds here in Edmonton. Uh, I like walking through there. It's nice. Some dorms there. There's the university. It's kind of the university area. It's going to be the post-secondary area. And uh, here's the kind of downtown residential high-rises. Over here we have mostly offices now in there. The train station. This is a passenger train station, obviously. And a little bit of a weird track set up there, but uh, made the most of it. Uh, small towns are still small. Orville is growing a bit. It's changing. Um... Oops, we have a little traffic jam here. I put the train tracks through here. Let's see if we can fix this here. Can we go over? Uh, let's go under. There we go. Underworks. There we go. Perfect. That's solved. There's the emergency services there. And there's kind of Orville residential and commercial. Nice little park here. Parks really do add value to land in city skylines. It's very important. As with any even real life city, parks are super important. Uh, education. That's obviously important too. Lots of education and Metro 2 transportation. We've been working on that. And uh, we'll focus on that a little bit later here. And looking here, there's more offices now. The industrial wasn't working out. I started a little, a little power outage here. There we go. Everybody's got power. It's just a little kind of hamlet, little town with a few high rises. But uh, nice little small town setting there with the windmill. It's a ridiculously large windmill, a little park. And um, yeah, so we're going to expand here. Let's put in a little dirt road. It's going to be a super small town. Dirt roads uh, go along with the curvature of the earth there. And it doesn't have to be straight, whatever. Uh, let's put the main road there. Make a nice little, nice little curvy drive. That works. And right there, because everybody needs power. And self-sufficient, can we do it? No, because we need to connect to the main grid with uh, sewer and that. So let's put in some residential in here. Oops, there we go. A little bit of residential. Three squares will do it there. Yeah, I like to, I'm trying to make things nice and kind of tree-lined here. Uh, a little commercial down the main road there. And can we put a church? We've got to even out the lands. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Let's see if that's good. Try that. Uh, that should work. It did not what I wanted, but oh well. It'll work. It'll work. Oh well. It's a very hilly town. <laughs> let's put in some more residential here, because obviously residential is in high demand here. And let's put in another road so we can fit more people into this town. Jeez, I'm sounding like a developer, but... Uh, there we go. There's a small town. Let that populate a little bit. And let's add on to here. We need some high-rise residential over here. Seems fitting. Put in some nice tree-lined roads. High-rise residential. And we'll design it as uh, two squares wide each. Not exactly straight, but oh well. Get rid of this road because that bothers me. Doesn't really work, so we'll just get rid of that. Add some more roads here. And put in some residential because... It's in really high demand, actually. Wow. <laughs> it's growing really quick. And uh, put in a little roughage there. Rough in some more roads. There we go. I think that should be good enough for now. Uh, commercial. Let's add some high-rise commercial. Uh, put some there. Let's do the two-square thing again. It just looks nice, neat, and orderly. And put in some more... And stick in some offices there. And we'll prepare for the future, because that's always good to do. Even in real life, it's good to prepare th for the future. We'll put in some more here and there. Look at that. Everybody's already starting to build. 
And we'll add in kind of trees and shrubbery in between. Uh, probably then in another episode, we'll focus on kind of greening up the place. Makes it look nice, especially from the sky. Make sure everybody's got water. There we go. Everybody's happy, happy, happy. And here, everybody's happy. Cool. All right. And, oh yeah, here's a recycling center. I forgot to put it here because there's a little bit of a garbage crisis there. So I thought I would put another garbage center there. And this train, can we follow it? No, it didn't work. Oh well. Still a pretty neat little view there. And, oh, fire emergency services responding. That's good. A little church cemetery there. And here's my metro. Uh, metro, it was very important to connect everything in the city. So I figured... Uh, Put in a nice little metro system. That's that's it. There's small inner city metro and a few metro stations. Everything's humming along nicely. <laughs> a little bit of pollution there. My goodness. So that wraps up this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. We're gonna have more content coming soon, and we will continue working on Deville. Take care. Have fun. Get her done. <laughs>